Let's take a look at some of the examples of brands that are truly nailing down Instagram branding and that sell lifestyle rather than a product. So the first brand that usually comes to mind when thinking about lifestyle brands is Esquire magazine. They've been around for decades and build their brand and their name on all things that interest men. So travel, food, style, drinks, women, music, and so on. So let's take a look at their Instagram and we can see right away they have travel, drinks, popular culture, music, women, other successful men, and it just goes on style, beautiful interior design, women. So as you can see, they're nailing down on all of their core messages and core topics. And as we continue to scroll down, we continue to see the same thing over and over. They're nailing down with every single picture, their core messages, and they're appealing to their target audience, which are stylish, young, independent men. Next one is Apple, and I would argue that Apple was one of the first ones to really um, come out with the notion of lifestyle brand and company that sells more than just a product. They're selling a life view, a certain lifestyle, certain values. Um, so let's take a look. With Apple, um, interesting thing to note is that they're not showing a picture of their product, whether that would be iPhone, iPod, iPad, or um, their MacBooks. So instead, Apple opted for cool images that are shot on iPhone. So as you can see, it's shot on iPhone. This really cute picture of a girl is shot on iPhone. So they took a really interesting approach and instead of just showing a picture of their product over and over again, which would get old pretty fast, instead, again, they're selling lifestyle, they're selling this beautiful pictures that showcase the capabilities of iPhone photography. Next one is Nike, and again, they're really famous for selling lifestyle rather than a pair of sneakers. We can see all the different sports, um, all kinds of world-class athletes, celebrities. So they're selling a lifestyle of performance, toughness, dedication, strength, and of course their famous tagline, just do it. So all of these pictures are just so in line with the brand and the notion of just doing it. And all these athletes proving that there are absolutely no boundaries. Next brand we'll take a look at is GoPro. And um, it's the most versatile camera. That's what their bio says. And we can see just gorgeous pictures of people traveling, doing extreme sports, um, even just simply hiking and camping. So it's all about beautiful views and pictures and videos that you would want to keep with you forever. Those great experiences, those awesome memories that um, you would have surfing, snowboarding, hiking, and doing all kinds of activities that are worth commemorating. Next one is Beats by Dre, and their brand is cool and hip, and we can see right away that from their pictures and all the tough men that they're sponsoring or working with. We can see their product, celebrities, And as you can see, they don't have um, pictures of products next to each other. They're spruced in with other images of 
uh, people, celebrities, athletes, um, and so on. So they have a really nice balance of straight product photography as well as their collaborations. Next one is Red Bull and Red Bull truly built their lifestyle brand on extreme sports and as we can see on their Instagram it's all about doing crazy things and having fun and if you notice there are no pictures of the drink itself. Um, they have their logo spruced in here and there but you will be hard pressed to find any images of their core product which is energy drinks. It's all about having fun, being tough, having energy to do all this extreme sport. Next one is Starbucks and the interesting thing about their uh, profile is that they have a lot of images of the drinks um, which would seem like not such a great idea because it would get old pretty fast. However, as you can see, they have a huge variety of backgrounds and people holding their drinks in different settings. So for them, actually, it works out great because it just shows you that you can enjoy your Starbucks on the go, anywhere you go, and that Starbucks is always a good idea, whether you're hanging out at the pool or you're working, um, or you're uh, meeting with friends. Next one is Lululemon, and I love that their bio just shows exactly what they stand for and what their positioning is. Um, so their bio is yoga is on the mat, it's off the mat, it's everywhere. How does it show up in your life? So they're not selling you just yoga pants. Again, they're selling you a lifestyle of health, wellness, strength, mindfulness, beauty, grace, fun, just all things that women are really into. Next one is anthropology and they really nail down their branding and whenever you th think about anthropology, you think about boho chic, you think about gypsy style, um, and that definitely translates into their Instagram account. It's really light, it's fun, it has a great variety of shots. And if you notice, all of the shots seem so effortless. Like she was just sitting there or she was passing by those beautiful palm trees um, this girl maybe just woke up and had coffee um, in her bed brewed by her boyfriend or something. So as you can see, it's really effortless, it's really light, and it's beautiful. So actually a lot of time and skill goes into something that seems so easy, simple, and beautiful. And comparing that to another fashion brain, Balmain, their Instagram looks much more different. It's mark much more dark, the colors are more lush. There's a lot of contrast going on in every single picture. It's really well put together and planned out. You don't get a sense of easiness and photos being random, especially with something like this, like this. All of the women are perfectly posed, they have perfect makeup. So you get a much different feel than what you would get from anthropology. And this is how you know that they're going after different target markets and they appeal to not only different aesthetics, they also appeal to different lifestyles and different values.